Hi sixth graders, this is Mrs. Gall. Today I'm gonna go over a long division problem talking you through the two different ways that we can write remainders. Go ahead, it might be helpful for you to write this down along with me on a piece of paper in your notebook. Here's my first problem that we're going to try. 3,425 divided by 11. We start by asking ourselves how many 11s can go into the first digit 3. If the first digit we say, oh, it can't go in, it would be 0 times, then we can move to the second digit and think about how many 11s can go into 34. Thinking about my 11 facts, I know 11 can go into 34 three times without going over. I place the 3 above the 4 in 34, and I think about that multiplication fact. 11 times 3 is 33. I write that below my 34 and I subtract. 34 minus 33 gives us 1. I bring down my next number in line, which was 2. Next I ask myself how many 11s can go into my 12 without going over. 11 can go into 12 one time without going over. I place my 1 above 2 and I do that multiplication. 11 times 1 is 11. I place that below my 12 and I subtract. 12 minus 11 is 1. I bring down my last number in line, which was 5. I ask myself how many 11s can go into this 15. 11 goes into 15 one time without going over. 11 times 1 is 11. I place that below my 15 and I subtract. 15 minus 11 is 4. I have two options. I can stop here and write my remainder as a fraction. Off to the side, I'm going to write 311. 4 was my remainder. That is the numerator or the top number in my fraction. 11 was my divisor. That is my denominator in my fraction. 311 and 4 elevenths. That's one possible way to write a remainder. Let's say you want to try the decimal method. Add a decimal. I like adding it to both my answer and my dividend. It must be added to your answer. Add a zero after your dividend uh, decimal and begin, continue your problem by dropping that zero down. 11 can go into 40 three times without going over. Place that above your zero. Do that multiplication. 11 times 3 is 33. That goes below my 40, and I subtract. 40 minus 33 is 7. Continue going until the third number after the decimal, the thousandths place. So to continue my problem, I continue to add zeros after the dividend. And I continue to drop down zeros so my problem can continue. 11 goes into 70 how many times without going over? 6. So I place that number above my 0. 11 times 6 is 66. I place that number below my 70 and I subtract. 70 minus 66 is 4. I add a 0 to continue my problem. I drop my 0 down and ask myself how many 11s can go into 40 without going over. Hey, we just saw this fact before. It was 3 times, and 11 times 3 was 33. When I subtract 40 minus 33, I get 6. I'm sorry, 7. At this point, you may notice that there was a pattern that was starting to form. When I said that 11 went into 43 times, my remaining there was 7, and when I added a 0, I had 70. If I were to continue this problem, I'm noticing I got the 40 with the 33 and the 7 again. So if I were to keep going, um, that 11 would go into 76 times. So the piece that's going to repeat here is the 3 and the 6. Now, why didn't I write a, um, a repeating sign over the last 3? Well, the repetition is 3, 6, 3, 6. So if I were to put it over the 3, that would be saying that the repeti repetition is 3, 
six, three. And what that means is another three is going to happen right after that three. And that's not what's gonna happen. It's going to be the three, six. So if you want to write two versions, then you need to put two, if you wanna to go to the thousandths place, then you actually need to go to that, um, the fourth number after the decimal, the 10 thousandths to tell me three, six, three, six, and both sets would repeat. Okay, so if you want to do the third number, then you're just going to include your repetition over the 3, 6, or I guess you could do 6, 3, but you do not want to do it over all three, the 3, 6, 3, since that is not the correct repetition. On the assessment, you can choose either way to write your remainder. You can just do the fraction or you can do just the decimal. Exceeds would be trying both routes, fraction and decimal. Let Mrs. Gall know if you have any questions.